Another day, another dollar. Let's get to work. All right, so I'm about to shoot a podcast episode for Cyber Stories Podcast. By the way, if you've not been watching the podcast, definitely do. I'll leave the Winter Podcast exclusively on YouTube podcasts. Today, I actually have a really amazing guest, and he, I believe, went from being a cashier to being a content engineer at Security Blue Team, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of. So I'm about to just set up real quick, and we're about to film this episode. This is going to be for season two of the Cyber Stories podcast, which might not be out when you're watching it, but if it's out when you're watching this, I'll leave a link to it somewhere in the screen and also in the description. But yeah, season two is coming soon, probably going to be after the summer so that there's a lot more engagement with it. But I'm about to film this episode, so just having all my things set up, got to make sure that light is also set up. Ocean. So we got the background set up. Nice, nice. And then about to shoot now. So let's get right into it. Bad, bad. Yeah, go see how the second camera angle looks. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it's gonna be the main one. So let me actually set up the stream yard. Gee, y'all. Malik's episode, straight up gems. Fire. Fire, man. That man Malik is on fire, bro. Like, he was just straight up just jumping, dropping gems. His experience is just amazing, man. Like, he has his mindset, his tenacity, his energy, man. Like, the, the, I just had an amazing conversation with him. I can't wait to drop the episode. It's, it's going to be bonkers. It's going to be amazing, man. We're going to have the episode out soon. If it's not out yet, then... Uh, soon it will be out it will be out soon and if it's out then i will leave a link to it in the description or somewhere on the screen so you guys can go watch it man it's gonna be really good really really good definitely keep an eye out for it let's get back to work i'm taking a quick break from work right now it's almost the end of the day anyways but something i've been thinking about recently you know as i've been musing you know, I've been using a lot more recently, which is why I've been making these videos, uh, critical in my engineering diary and, you know, my journey to becoming a staff engineer. And um, actually, this thought came from a tweet that I saw about how most successful people are not well known online. Now, let me be more specific with that. Most people who are successful in tech or in cybersecurity, like a lot of them are not well known online. And I think it made me realize the facade of celebrity tech or cybersecurity professionals. You know, like we're in an era of people who are just always sharing their journeys online. Excuse me, I had to close the door. But people are always sharing their journeys online, you know, and I, and I made a video about this, about the exception, not the rule, where I talked about how a lot of people have very exceptional experiences, but always remember that it's the exception not the rule and i think it's very easy to like see someone on social media or on youtube who makes content like myself i'm like whoa this person must be so smart but it's a facade i'm not trying to deceive you i'm not claiming to be what i'm not but you might immediately see me as someone who is like an expert or subject matter expert because i have a decent amount of following i create content so i must be an authority in the field well, some might consider me an authority in the field, but I'm just another engineer. As a matter of fact, like, I'm probably not as smart as some of the really good engineers that I know and work with. This is not a, you know, self-diminishing thought. It's more of a reality in the sense that it's very easy to get caught up in numbers and get caught up in this. There's, there's this thing about seeing someone who is like somewhere where you are, right? Of which I could be that person. I could be that person you're watching constantly. You might be watching all my videos, watching my journey, you know, follow me on Instagram, whatever the case is, or LinkedIn. I'm like, dang, like they is must they must be really good at what he does because he has 17,000 followers on LinkedIn, or I think I just hit 18,000 followers on LinkedIn, or because he has almost 25,000 subscribers on YouTube. He must be really good at what he does. Well, although I might be, you know, good at what I do, but it doesn't make me the best at what I do. So there's just a side of like people who are out there because they're 
sharing their knowledge makes you think like they're the ones that have all the knowledge. In reality, they really aren't. There's several other smart people or even smarter people out there who are just not online. As a matter of fact, some of them just prefer not to put their business out there. They just have personal accounts where they just share like, you know, what you know matters to them, whether that's family. Some of them like other things like maybe things people might consider quirky, like woodworking or like, I don't know, cars, right? But all this to say that do not get caught up in the facade of the celebrity tech influencer or cybersecurity professional. And this is myself included. Don't get caught up in the fact, don't get caught up in watching my content so much or anybody else's content so much that you start to see them as something they're not. Of course, there are people who are extremely smart and great at what they do, like people out there like, you know, John Hammond or Live Overflow, like several other cybersecurity content creators who actually like make really good content about like various practical things in cybersecurity. You can see their skills, but don't get too caught up in the numbers and don't attribute numbers and followership to credibility because it doesn't always correlate. This is how people like kind of get manipulated into like courses or like programs that eventually are detrimental to them and do not end up bringing like a sort of return on their investment. But speaking personally, like I, I was trying to, you know, of course I'm in a, I'm a content creator myself. This is not, this is not, this video is not beneficial to me because I'm telling you basically to not look up to me the way you might look up to me right now, because I'm just another engineer. I'm just another security professional. I'm not an expert. I just know a couple of things and I like sharing my knowledge out there. It doesn't make me the best at what I do, but at least I'm good enough to the point where I could share my knowledge and someone could pick or learn something from it. But don't get too caught up in that. Don't immediately idolize people because they have that following or because you see something in them that you don't have in yourself or something that you desire to have in yourself. Basically just take it for what it is. It's content, consume the content, consume content wisely and don't get too caught up in it. That's about it for my musing. I'm just gonna run up some work and probably hit the gym. I need a really good gym session right now because I am stressed out and I just, I just need to freaking lift some weights. Today's gonna be chest day, so definitely looking forward to that. But yeah, I'm gonna see you either at the gym, whatever the case is, I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next scene. Y'all, I think I lied. I actually don't have the energy to go to the gym today. I really need to because I'm stressed out and I want to lift some heavy weights today's chest day, but I don't. And um, the reason why I know I'm stressed out is because I've been stress eating like for the last two days, for the last 24 hours. And like stress just comes from like just having things to do, other things to do, work, but you, you know, just life. And sometimes I handle stress by just stress eating. So basically I just like eat. Like I eat irresponsibly, like I would go like right, like today I was craving a venti caramel frappuccino with extra, di extra drizzle caramel, extra everything, all the things. If I show you my caramel order from Starbucks, you, yeah, it's bad. But especially when I'm, when I stress eat. So I typically have like two of those when I stress eat or like two milkshakes or like two large milkshakes from like McDonald's or something like that. And today I was going to actually go get a like, a large pizza and some chicken wings, but I decided against it uh, because, you know, I actually wanna, I, I don't wanna like just fall into this, you know, downward spiral with like stress eating and everything. I, I realize I'm stressed out. I know I'm gonna get over it, but I just don't wanna like let the stress eating just take over me this time. So I decided to like actually cook today. I haven't cooked in a long time, in a very long time, a very long time, very, very long time. Like last time I cooked was like probably months ago. Um, so today I, I'm actually trying to like cook spaghetti and ground beef. Ground beef has a lot of like protein, so it's fairly healthy. I think the spaghetti also has some protein in it, so it'll be a good alternative to getting like, you know, eating a whole box of Little Caesars pizza. By the way, Little Caesars is the best pizza out there, undefeated. I don't care what anybody says. Got me through freshman year of college and way more in life. So yeah, I'm not gonna be eating Little Caesars today, but I'm gonna try to cook this spaghetti and some ground beef. I'm actually gonna be watching a YouTube video to do this. So I hope it turns out well, uh, cause I haven't done this before. I've cooked spaghetti before, but no, not like this. So. We're gonna see how it turns out. So let's see how <laughs> let's see how it goes. Oh no! Oh, okay. So the ground beef. I can see everything. Well then. All right. Let's get these things. This thing diluted in. Oh, 
shoot, it's cooking already, bro. Um, add some minced onions. Onions are necessary for spice, good health. I think I used to get told I if you if you eat a lot of onions, you would have good eyesight. My eyesight is still pretty good, so I guess they were right. And this is gonna be some paprika. Some more, some more kind of pepper. All right, not too much of that. Uh, just gonna push this over here. And then, this is gonna be some more kind of pepper. I don't know what kind of pepper this is, but it's not kind of pepper, but. Yeah, man. Uh, I guess that's enough. Here we are now. Let's add in some tomato sauce to it. Not gonna use everything, but just about enough to get what I. I think there should be some more tomato sauce, maybe. It's just the final results. This is the moment of truth. Really good. Really, really, really good. Wow. Wow. I'm actually surprised. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Wow. So I choose me. I don't know. <laughs> Let me just enjoy the glory of this one for now. 